Yeah, we made it about 24 hours later. Of lots of time on the road and lots of time in the air. And the guys ended up having an absolute barrel fest. Beautiful scenic headland in front of them, and it just doesn't get much better than that when you're surfing somewhere for the first time. It was a real treat. Yeah, so we left the house this morning and had a pretty good idea of where we were going to surf and pulled up and sure enough the waves were just firing. Kind of debated still about, oh, should we go check this way, should we go check that way? But I think that's just a natural thing you do in an unfamiliar area. Any trip you go on, there's going to be a few challenges and some hurdles that you have to jump over. And um, I think in my mind, when I knew we were coming here for this trip, just I picture beautiful backlit green walls and, and just these really kind of like California golden light. And so far, for the most part, it's eluded us. Luckily, uh, so far on the trip, we've had one evening that was just beautiful. I mean, sun setting on the water, which is just amazing. Kind of went from the yellow, you know, late afternoon light to just orange, fire red sky. And it was just, you know, one of those nights that you really live for as a photographer. For me, that was the best part of the trip so far. Just getting that light and having the boys do their thing. Hopefully it goes without saying that Mother Nature is in control of everything we're chasing, whether it's light or waves, um, whatever it is, she's in control. And for the last three days, she hasn't been giving us much on any front, so we've had a few down days. Um, looks like we might get some really good light tomorrow with a pumping swell, so fingers crossed. Yeah, so today being the last day of the trip, was, we were kind of stressed and there hadn't been waves in three or four days. And this morning we thought we were going to go surf north of here about a two hour drove up there. The waves sucked. Just, it was no good. Well, it's our last day with the full crew. I'm like kind of stressing out. We fucked up. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows where we should be right now. It's awesome that we're lucky enough to have it as like a job, but that's when the whole job thing comes into play is when you aren't getting that good of waves or having problems with dealing with the light and sun's not coming out, rain, all these little things add up and 
then time time runs out, it's the last day, and ended up looking around for hours only to end up right back to the closest wave because uh, it was absolutely firing and the guys ended up getting, I imagine, the best and biggest barrels of the trip. It's awesome to finally see some like solid size waves and the sun's out. Mobbed back and ended up surfing about 300 yards down the beach from our house. Had a pretty amazing wave. Tide got lower. Wind came up a little, but the waves were still cranking, so that was a relief to get to get some of the swell finally. And we just all beelined it to the beach, and the guys were out in the lineup. I think it was the fastest they put on their wetsuits the whole trip. And uh, we absolutely scored with just a few hours before leaving the country. So it was a really nice way to end the trip. State of play. photography I think just in some way or another I hope it inspires people to just kind of get out and then search whether that's their own backyard or you know traveling halfway across the world like we have for this trip you know it's just if you can evoke a sense of emotion or make somebody feel something through your work I think that's really the biggest compliment you can achieve from a person and also um, it's just really what I strive for just making people feel something and getting somebody really excited to go check something new out.